The great thing about the 40s, 50s, and 60s was that banking was boring. I'm working on a paper comparing banking with insurance. Uh, if you look at insurance regulation, uh, beginning in the middle of the 19th century, uh, when you had catastrophic losses, we in the States had the great Chicago fire, and uh, all of the insurance companies uh, were, many of the big ones were wiped out by the great Chicago fire because they, they were not in a position where they diversified their, their risk or they had adequate reserves against their risk. So insurance, unlike finance, is very boring. Actuaries spend an immense amount of effort calibrating risk very precisely, and regulators require insurance companies to have adequate reserves against the possibility of loss. And further, there's a principle of insurance regulation that you cannot lay off risk on somebody else. You can't securitize the risk that you take on because that would be a moral hazard. You might be tempted to play games the same way bankers do, and so you, the insurance company, have to hold on to the risk. Now, if there were simply those two principles in banking regulation, adequate reserves to limit leveraging and speculation, and you have to hold on to the risk, that would uh, eliminate most of the causes of the current catastrophe. And of course, uh, insurance doesn't have derivatives, doesn't have uh, the layering that you've had, the pyramiding that you've had in, in finance. So I think uh, making banking boring again is another way of saying what I'm saying, which is you need a drastic or a radical simplification of banking because it is the shadow banking part of the system, the derivatives and the swaps and uh, the securitization. All of these opaque instruments and techniques that get between the normal process of uh, simply being an intermediary for credit and the way banks make their money that caused the crisis. So that needs to be squeezed out. And uh, uh, once banking is boring again, it will go back to its appointed role of serving the rest of the economy.